And if you're a fan of sourdough, you'll really like our next guest. Rise Up is a San Francisco Black-owned bakery focused on reinventing the traditional sourdough bread. And here to share more about its origin story is founder Ezekwe Z. Anderson. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. And I was just about to thank you for getting up so nice and early to join us, but apparently your start time is typically 3 a.m., just like yeah. us. <laughs> my, my brain, like, automatically wakes up at 3 a.m., so every time... I show up somewhere at like 8, and they're like, oh, thanks for being here early. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, <laughs> I've been awake for hours. My goodness. Well, you've got a couple of items here to show us. But first of all, I want to get a sense of, you know, tell us a bit about the story behind your bakery. It's been a, lo a, a yeah. long time coming. So um, I, a lot of people think that I've been a baker for a long time, but I actually started baking during the beginning of the pandemic, mm -hmm. like a majority of uh, people that were stuck at home and had a lot of time. So I, um, I started with on a, like a foodie chat yeah. where people were texting around pandemic meals, what they were making, and then inevitably it turned into sourdough. And then from there, um, I lightweight got shamed into it where people were like, come on, man, where's your, where's your pictures? You cook, right? And I was okay. like, I, was like oh, I don't really bake. So uh, I started making sourdough and it was very mediocre at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then I got hooked, and um, now it is my almost every waking moment of my life. Yeah, and it actually blew up because you have quite a few followers on Instagram, on social media, and you went from your home kitchen to opening a, basically a brick and mortar space as well where you produce bread like this. Yeah, I tell people it's like getting duct taped to the front of a rocket ship. <laughs> um, I've, been, I've been like nonstop, so I started at home. Mm -hmm. um, and I started with just doing like three or four loaves a day every other day. And then it got all the way up to like 150 loaves in my house per wow. day. Um, and then I uh, moved into uh, a commercial kitchen that I helped build out um, in Fisherman's Wharf and I was there for a year. And then from there, we've just now moved into our actual standalone bakery space um, in, uh, in Soma. Uh, in between 7th and 8th on on uh, Howard. Congratulations. Yeah, That's huge. It's pretty cool. So tell us a bit about what you brought today. Um, so I brought uh, a ube loaf and a masala loaf All and, right. of course, my OG loaf. Okay. My OG loaf <laughs> is the uh, originator. It's a classic um, San Francisco sourdough, thin crust, mm -hmm. um, beautiful interior. Um, all of our stuff is made with our own proprietary blend of five different certified organic flowers. So, wow. um, so yeah, so we, we have a really long fermentation process. Um, we ferment for three days, cold fermentation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all naturally leavened. Um, the masala loaf is my love letter to India. So it's mm -hmm. all the, my favorite um, f Indian flavors. Okay. And then the ube loaf is a standalone loaf, which a lot of people have taken notice. Uh, which is ube, which is a Filipino purple yam mm -hmm. or purple potato. Okay. And um, I based it on a potato bread and then I used uh, ube halaya and uh, infused it in. Uh, kind of most of the breads that I make, I tell people that I'm really good at putting things that don't want to go into bread into bread. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, most of them are inspired by kind of overlooked flavor profiles that I think are beautiful. So I'm trying to take any shine that I have and shine the light on things that I think are maybe a little underutilized in, um, you know, San Francisco culinary mm -hmm. scene in general. Yeah, that is so incredibly unique. And are you able to, to slice a couple of oh, these yeah. open so we can see what it looks like on the inside? I'm really curious to see what an ube sourdough looks like <laughs> from the inside. So, oh, wow, look at that. That is a really, really, you look at that. It's like, it's all purple on the inside. And it's a sourdough. Wow. Yeah. That is incredibly unique. And again, ube is the purple yam. Yes. It's the purple yam. So that the, the color of the yam is what gives it, it that the bread its color. Yeah, we worked really, really hard on making sure that it stays true. But then also we are kind of taking our liberties to mix it with the sour profile. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, when I first uh, made it, people were like, I don't really get the ube because the sour was overwhelming it. Mm -hmm. And then over a period of time I learned, would you like to try it? Oh yeah, sure, thank you. This I, is uh, my, my first time trying oh, an ube sourdough. This is, this is special. 
And you know I'm a big sourdough fan too, so. Oh, there you go. This is good. <laughs> this is really good, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> thank you for bringing this around. And you know, something I also wanted to ask you about too is, you know, part of your mission is to inspire young black bakers. So do you have a message that you'd like to share with them and our viewers here today for Black History Month? Well, yeah, I thought, I thought it was um, funny. One of my friends came over and he had to stand in a little bit of a line outside my house mm -hmm. uh, when I, because I can only service people at the beginning of the pandemic so fast and I was making sure we were keeping our distance. And then at the end, he was like, ooh, I came to get bread from the great black baker and he kind of chuckled. And I chuckled too. And then I, all of a sudden I realized that in my entire life I'd never seen a black baker, mm -hmm. like ever. And I thought that was really odd. And so it's kind of become part of my mission to kind of be the change I want to see. And just, um, I, feel, I felt kind of strange. Like I enjoy this so much and I didn't know that I would, it was even an option, right? So um, now I'm kind of dedicating a big part of what we're doing to make sure that just people feel seen. And, um, and all, of the, all of the bakers that I work with right now that all came to work for me, um, and there's starting to be more and more of us, um, none of them had ever been trained as bakers. So um, I like the idea of being able to change your stars and see something and, and kind of reach for it and, and hopefully enjoy it as much as we do. And it's really cool to be around, uh, surrounded by people that enjoy it, surrounded by people that care about you and, um, and enjoy what you do every day, you know? All right, Ezekwe Z. Anderson with Rise Up Bakery. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for sharing such delicious bread with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll be right back.